Is it working? Okay, hi guys and welcome back to some more Play Ginky Vault. We're going to continue playing the endemic feature scenarios and uh, we're going to go ahead with the first scenario in the list that we haven't played yet. SCP-632, a bad headache. Um, yeah, I haven't played this scenario and uh, it uh, sounded like sort of fun. I'm also going to uh, play all the other scenarios with another occasion. There are so many freaking uh, scenarios and also went ahead and like checked the new page. And there are so many like comedic scenarios around here like uh, uh, Darude Sandstorm or like freaking PC Master Race for Life. But yeah, whatever. We're going to go ahead and play this one and uh, hopefully it's going to be fun. So, SCP-632 is an Euclid class SCP, whatever that means, which is a spider species, 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 I think, I forgot what the that is, but my god, that releases their millions of microscopic eggs attached to the thin web strands carried away by wind. Hmm. The larvae enter through the human skin pores and travel to the brain causing headaches. Ooh. They release endorphin when pressure is applied making people hit their heads until the spiders can exit. Ooh, is that is that a thing? Holy crap, I don't want to actually uh, encounter such a thing, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and play it. Um we're going to grab some whatever random genes we have. I still haven't played this, goddammit. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to get it. There, you should uh, uh, like unlock genes whenever you complete custom scenarios as well. Sure, it could be abused and uh, whatever other stuff like that, but it's just uh, it's also like repetitive to just replay the uh, official, uh, not like official or yeah, the official scenarios or like the actual plagues just to unlock these genes. You know, on the iPad version you could get them by paying money, but you know over here. Uh, it's not like that I want to pay money for it, but uh, you know, yeah, it should be another way to like gaining it, like more, maybe more uh, disease or anything like that. Anyway, let's keep going right ahead, we're going to play on Brutal and uh, we're going to apparently start in China. There are four random and uh, like uh, intros to it. Parasitic spider that makes people bang their heads until they can get out. Extremely resistant to heat, they have a big advantage in hot countries, but they struggle hard in cold places. And we start in China because uh, I don't know, it's right in the middle. Containment British intro. Skip it, skip its containment, and the SCP Foundation knows about this. They are trying to continue ASAP. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this kind of intro. People report small spiders coming out of dead people's heads after they died from head trauma. Try their best to continue. Hmm. Right? Wow, so we start with a lot more infective and they already started the cure research. That's too bad. So there are four different intros and this one is... I, I think it's like the worst that we could get. This is a in the brain, causes a distraction and makes research slower. Web strands, microscopic eggs are attached to the feathery threads, which are virtually weightless. Air current helps spreading the eggs. And what's this? Larvae fit from pain tissue, ca ca which causes pain, reduces ability to work. Ew. Uh -huh. Alright, corpse feeder. More spiders exit the dead host in search for more victims. More tiny larvae that hatch can enter the skin pores of humans, increases life transmission and mutations. Already have uh, lethality and severity as well, so. Uh, so we are already discovered, which is not a very nice way to start. We are going to get a lot of cures, so hopefully we either have like cure resistant things, more resistant in wealthy environments. There's no such things as wealthy environments, you might say wealthy countries if you want to. So we're going to get that. Avoidance are harder to catch and analyze in labs. Let's uh, get the... Uh, Hibernation, yeah, that would be good because they say that they are less uh, viable in uh, cold climates. We could also, we also would like skin pores. And I don't know, I'm not going to focus on symptoms because we already have lethality and uh, hopefully we're going to mutate them on, on our own. Right, this unlocks a lot of freaking transmissions, air, objects. I suppose there's, these are like fulmites, water. Insects, animals, and the same course either. Okay. Definitely going to need that, but, but definitely we're going to need way more points. As I said, this is the first time I, I'm like playing it at first try, and then uh, afterwards, if uh, 
going to replay them and see if I can actually manage a tactic. Let's get cold resistance because Russia is pretty close and uh, we're going, definitely going to get into it as well. Should we get course feeder? Yeah, sure, why not? Just per se. <coughs> I'm still uh, a bit sick from the previous days, but I'm getting better. And you know, what better irony than playing this game sick? Uh, we did got headache. I mean, mm, there's no point in like de-evolving them, but since we are already discovered. What else are up? They are less productive, makes infected hit their heads with blunt force repeated time. Leads to confusion. Mm -hmm. More resistant to pesticides, becomes resistant to toxins. I really don't know, you know, since it's first try, I have no idea about what tactic would be great. We are spreading around, which is quite good and gives us quite a lot of points, which we could get like uh, air transmission, maybe. Uh, the object transmission which apparently costed a lot and sure let's make uh, research slower and maybe a little more euphoria later on alright uh, we're hopefully getting a lot of infectivity that's one of our main things that we're hopefully going to get or that we need to get before uh, most countries close down their borders there we go let's see what more transmissions can we get animals could be useful and also transmissions, hot and humid countries, I don't think we necessarily need that. Look at that, animals number two. Uh, let's get cold number two and let's get uh, adapt as well, just to make... Uh, right, let's not uh, waste that, we've also got confusion on its own, which will hopefully... Holy crap, look at this. Alright, we're getting quite a lot of symptoms. I mean, we're getting quite a lot into a lot of places. Look at that obsession. They develop OCD. They're obsessed with hitting their heads to tell the pain. Wow. So, uh, this makes it them easy, uh, harder to analyze in labs. This makes the research more needed and uh, harder to focus. Mo basically, all these things like increase uh, research time. I'm not exactly sure. Let's make it more resistant to pesticides. Sure. And sure, let's increase water transmission. Uh, corpse is number two. None of this like significantly increase uh, infectivity except for maybe the OCD one. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, oh, there you go. Excellent pickup. There, what we have next? Mania. Excellent. That will be very good to grab. Okay, we're spreading down, but they are starting to shut down airports. Look at that. Indeed, the hot countries are very rapidly infected. Patient pattern is extraordinary, that will slightly reduce cure efforts. But they are now fully focused on the cure, and we still haven't got all the countries. Which uh, is pretty dangerous, considering that they might uh, close down their borders before we do. Come on, Greenland. Come on, Greenland, I believe in you. Pretty much got all the symptoms in this area. I don't know, larger animals can be infected, water number two, insects. Now I'm getting a lot of transmissions, but uh, wow, head bashing. And that we should also get like the symptoms and pretty much we're going to get cured. But at the same time, if we didn't get any uh, like insomnia, sure, whatever. If we didn't get any, uh, let's get euphoria maybe, for number three. Please forget that what they were doing, okay? Doesn't do enough. So yeah, we're going to get uh, pretty much cured. Right, that has been the first try. We haven't even infected all the uh, uh, countries. So uh, yeah, the thing is that if we weren't going to get... Uh, oh wow, look at that. Let's try to execute infected uh, people after the cure was available. It says something about their country. Thing is that if we weren't going to get the uh, infectivity, we're not going to spread everywhere, just like it happened. Right, so that's, uh, this has been uh, the first attempt, it wasn't really that uh, great, but hopefully in the second attempt we're going to get a better intro and uh, that will help. See you there. Alright, here we are with attempt number two, apparently we start once again in China. But undiscovered intro, okay, that's excellent. The foundation has haven't discovered SCP-632 yet, it means they didn't even got to give it its designation. The foundation knows less about you and it will take longer before they found a solution. That is an excellent intro, that is exactly how I wanted to start. Sure, the discovering intro would have been a more of a challenge, but I uh, 
prefer to go this way as well. We still have lethality, so uh, we are not really that safe. And I'm not exactly sure. I don't. I haven't seen anything that would help us like get rid of it. So uh, we are still going to get discovered, but at least they are not going to start the cure research like from the very beginning. And that will hopefully help. Let's get corpse feeder. We're also going to get uh, more transmissions. Uh, well, pretty much, we're going to maintain the same tactic at the beginning and hope that we're going to infect all the countries a little bit faster. And there we go. We're also going to get the uh, eggs or whatever skin pores and all the nearby transmissions. And yeah, we're not going to focus on the symptoms pretty much, or if we are, we're pretty much going to like de-evolve them. But the thing is that we look at that, we have so much severity. Like, is it from the... Yeah, let's uh, de-evolve course feeder because it's just gives, giving us severity and let's actually... Oh! Did I... What the hell? Oh wow, I just wasted a bunch of points, god damn it, I'm mad. I just clicked so fast that I bought it and devolved it immediately afterwards. Okay, let's get it back now. Hopefully that won't happen again, there you go. So those don't increase severity. I'm trying to like get uh, every transmission that will uh, like not increase severity, that will be pretty good to get. Because we want to transmit, but we don't want to get uh, discovered, which will also be very hard because we already have lethality. Okay, we're going to de-evolve the symptoms. Just for now. Uh, let's get... Uh, well, objects is very uh, expensive. Let's just wait and get more points before we spend more. Alright, we're spreading, there you go, India as well, there you go, Pakistan, we're going to need cold transmission once again, and let's get uh, air for now, and we're also going to get objects a little bit later, there we go, we're spreading very fast and that's good, but at the same time we're also going to get discovered very fast, if not from severity, then from lethality. So we can only hope that we spread just far enough before we get discovered that there's that's how we play there's nothing else that we can do headache once again got uh, evolved we can still de evolve it to it still give us points because we're still early on and we could get hibernation number two to get full uh, potential into the cold environments and then maybe make it more uh, resistant to pesticides okay we did got discovered which is too bad but you know what can you do we got uh, already got that. Let's get water, and we're also going to hopefully get animals. They're going to start cure very uh, shortly afterwards. Yes, they did. Let's. There you go. We got animals. Now we're no longer going to like devolve symptoms. We are going to leave it to uh, evolve the symptoms on its own, and it will hopefully do that successfully. Oh my God, we are getting a lot of freaking. Oh, okay, there we go. At the right moment with that pop-up to like prevent me from missing all these things. Okay, we got that, we got that. Let's get uh, maybe insects. Could now also get corpse feeder since there's not really uh, much else that we could get. Um, there you go, corpse feeder. We could also get corpse feeder number two. There's not really that big of a severity hit. And right now the severity hit is uh, not really going to do much. Alright, we got head bashing. Sure, we could get bleeding, we could also get confusion. We need things that like increase infectivity, so uh, bleeding I suppose that would work, but also insanity like increase uh, infectivity a little bit. Alright, they're starting to shut down uh, airports and land borders and ports and they are uh, leading global cure research so we need to make sure that we have spread it uh, uh, across the entire world before we start uh, mutating like the uh, absolutely lethal symptoms and I'm still hoping that the disease will mutate this, these symptoms on its own like the spiders or whatever mm, internal hemorrhaging fury um, why? Uh, so annoying Internal hemorrhaging does not increase the infectivity as much as, as much as I would want. And 
this should also like increase the effectivity because hitting themselves and others alike. See? Hmm. Hmm. We still haven't got all the countries. Confusion mutated, that's okay. We still need to get Greenland. There we go, we got now Greenland. Okay, now we can get symptoms and resistances. Obsession would be good. Also mania, also uh hmm. Still need to spread though. No matter what, we still need to spread. <laughs> now the question is, should we get lethal symptoms? Killing very fast in Sweden. Hmm. Uh, not really. We manage. I'm more worried about Greenland. So the, there are two options over here. You can get lethal symptoms in the hopes that you'll kill very fast and then uh, hopefully they won't stop. Or you can get things that makes uh, research slower. Let's get the uh, skull fracture. Oh, this is very good. Wide open. Increase brute force supply that to have led to large holes. Lots of spiders burst out. Increases corpse transmission. And sure, let's get fury as well. And then we're hopefully going to get the uh, cure resistances if we have enough points. There you go. That's the first one. Coma. That is excellent. If that kicks down the cure. Is it strong enough though? We need to get way more lethality though. Mm. People are dying, let's hope the infectivity is good enough. Right, people are dying with huge amount of numbers. Ah, uh, there you go, did we have enough? Ah, uh, I forgot to press some of them. Madagascar in anarchy, did we get all the country? Greenland seems to go, there are no more healthy people in the world and we are killing all of them and I think this is pretty much Another successful scenario, hemorrhagic shock and brain hemorrhage. There you go, and we can grab all the whatever brain eaters. <laughs> yeah, whatever, there's not really much. We could down the cure a little bit more and like speed up the final uh, killing process. And yes, this uh, has been another successful scenario. Indeed, starting uh, with uh, starting unnoticed uh, has been way better than starting uh, already noticed does give you an advantage but you know it's uh, random intros is uh, definitely something that I haven't really seen I've seen custom uh, endings definitely but not custom intros you know but this does also mean that uh, you are left uh, to like a, a random point so you know you might start well you might not start well and that makes it difficult to devise proper strategies but anyway this has been SCP-632 totally enjoyed uh, playing it uh, I am seen better scenarios but it's pretty decent and I'm going to rate it up hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time with whatever I'm going to make anyway see you guys next time bye bye